Hi and welcome back. This video is about using Groove with Step Clips in Traction 6. I'm going to get started right away by creating a beat from scratch. So I'm just going to drag in the object here. This is the clip object and drop it and create a new step clip. And it comes in, in this particular case, kind of stretched out. So I'm just going to grab the trimming edge of it and just get it back to where it's a single bar long. I'll zoom in a little bit with the down arrow, hit home. And you can see that if I expand this a little bit, that the drum instruments are already assigned. I already put M Drummer. This is M Drummer Small, the free version of M Drummer. And now I'm going to create a basic beat to use with this. So we'll just get a kick drum here and here. And then also I'm going to loop this. So I'll click on the header with the alternate keyboard mapping. A selects everything in the clip. Basically, it puts the in marker and the out marker over the clip. And then we'll turn loop on right here, down here in the master section, the loop button, also the keyboard shortcut L. Let's put a snare to create a basic backbeat. And I'll just turn these snares down slightly. Now we're going to put in a hi-hat pattern and then we're going to apply some swing to this. And the hi-hat pattern, I'm going to use this toggle every. So I'll choose this channel and then do every. And we'll just decrease the offbeat slightly just to give it a little bit better feel. Okay, now we're going to apply groove to the entire pattern. Groove is actually stored per channel. You can actually change the groove per channel. I don't know if I would usually do that, but it is possible if you want to create a more complex rhythm or change up the feel of the beat a little bit. So we're going to start with the pattern itself. To get to the pattern properties, you click on the footer. Now down here in the section properties, basically by clicking the footer, we're selecting the section, but we're also selecting the active pattern. That's the pattern that's on top. Pattern one is the only pattern right now. So these parameters here are related to the pattern. These are related to the, param to the pattern, and these are related to the section if you wanted to add another section or another bar to this. So you'll see right here, apply common groove. If we click this, it opens up the groove selection, this is the same groove selection you'd use with MIDI in any other location within Traction. Now, if you're new to this, you're going to find at first, it's not what you think. What we probably want to choose is half, swing half in one of these percentages over on the far right column. And the reason is, is because groove is calculated per beat. So if you think about half, that means we're taking basically an eighth note. So we're cutting a beat in half. These are related to a beat. So these are swing or, or grooves related to 16th notes. These are related to eighth notes. So I'm going to choose right here, somewhere around 60 to 65% is a pretty nice amount of swing. So we'll go with 60%. Now, once that happens, you don't really see any result until you click on the channel. So let's take a look at our hi-hat channel and you'll see swing half 60 is chosen right here for the hats. We should be able to hear it. And that will be true for the whole thing. So let's put in a another snare. And you can hear that swing prominently on the snare. Now, if for some reason you didn't want that same thing on the snare, you could change it. So we could take it off the snare. This might not sound good. And so or we'll reduce it all the way down to 10%. So when you start to mix up the swing, unless you really know what you're doing with the rhythms, it could become kind of a train wreck. Now let's go back here. I want to show you how to clear a groove. So we click on the footer. This will select the, the section and the pattern. And then we'll apply common groove. And I have created my own preset called no groove. And the way you do this, you just take a 
look, I'll first I'll apply it. And then if you go over here, you'll see no groove and you'll hear it's gone. Straight time again. Now the way you would create that is to go into back here, apply common groove, and you'll see at the end is the edit groove templates. So basically the way you create a template is you just start with any setting that you want and then program in basic the basic setup that you want and then hit save template and we'll be able to give it a name. So what we want for our template is a pattern length of 16 notes to match our 16 note grid or 16 step grid and then each note is going to be one quarter beat like that and then we reset the template and then that basically flatlines the template. So normally when you program these, which I'm not going to get into in great detail here, is you can choose for each step if you want to delay it or not. So if you want to create a traditional swing, you would go on the eighth notes and you'd start here. And then this is a downbeat. And this is another downbeat. So on the three here, we would make that a little bit late. You could also change the step length or the pattern length. However, for this, we're going to leave it at this and then create a template, create a new template. And the template's going to be no groove. And I'm going to make it no groove too since I already did this once. And that's basically how you create your no groove template. That way you can reset this quite easily. So let's go set up a different swing setting. We'll apply a common groove. Let's make a really aggressive swing here. 80%. And then we click here again, apply common grooves, and then use our no groove setting here, and that will take it out. And keep in mind that the groove is stored on each channel individually. However, I recommend ordinarily you're going to want to set the groove at the pattern level by clicking on the footer, apply the common groove here. And that's how groove works with step clips.